and what a week it's been. The Premier League certainly came back with a bang. So, um, well, where to start? Well, basically, David Moyes finally managed to move the conversation away from relegation. I'm not sure it's where he wanted it to go, but hey, it's a change. So, social media and newspapers went into meltdown as... Basically, David Moyes gave Vicky Sparks the biggest career boost ever by saying he'd give her a slap for comments she made. So the endless debate, should he have said that to a woman? The point is, she wasn't actually male or female in this situation, just a journalist doing her job. But no one really focused on the big issue here. I don't really think David Moyes could give anyone a slap. Just say it. Jose has been seen looking glum. Mm-hmm. So my first problem with this story is, well, has actually ever seen him not looking glum. I just think I found a solution. I mean, basically, I think he's just got a resting bitch face. However, the glum face could be something to do with the fact that one very wise statistician out there worked out that he's doing worse, yep, worse, in terms of progress and performance at Manchester United. And there's, um, <clears throat> well, yeah, the, the kind of small issue that he spent 200 million pounds as well onto bigger and more breaking news. Jesus has moved from walking on water, no, 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 walking in water, guys, to going to the gym, eating two Big Macs, and, uh, well, hanging out with unicorns. Me, breaking news for you. I'm, I'm guessing everybody's getting a little bit bored of Arsenal fans right now. Basically, if they're not making banners, they're fighting each other or holding, well, kind of weak protests. Well, it seemed all they needed was a stern word from Wenger. He wrote in the club programme ahead of their 3-0 victory over West Ham. Wait for it. We're unbeaten for 19 games this season. And I think it's a good opportunity to remind people that we're not fighting to be relegated. We're fighting to have a positive end to the season. So yeah, basically, shut your face. So this would be a good time to mention the endless transfer rumours at West Ham. PR department, still busy. So transfer rumours this week basically are that uh, Zabletta's uh, interested or they're interested or um, basically I'm just going to stick with my earlier statement that West Ham will take literally anyone in football. So in other news, Spurs mounted, well, just the tiniest little pressure on league leaders Chelsea after their 3-1 win over Swansea. Yep, and Chelsea are still seven points clear. Wait for it. Can you believe it? Hull have climbed out of the relegation zone for the first time since October. And it doesn't really get much more embarrassing than Charlie Adams. He basically took the worst corner in Premier League history as he fell over and then uh, kneed the ball. This can't be true. Okay. Roy Hodgson, he's got a job. But, um... Literally the other side of the world. He's back in business, baby. But just in Australia. Okay, well, on that breaking news, I'm done.